Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to design a product in Canva using our product templates. I'm going to do that by showing you how to design the lunchbox insulated today. This is our new lunchbox on our updated version of our website. So first you're going to go ahead and scroll down and look, view the product info. You can see that this is only printed on one side, so we're only going to get one template. The size, material, all that. If you go to design file info, you can see the specifications for how the product needs to be designed. So it needs to be a JPEG or PNG, exported at 100% quality. These are the dimensions, and this is the resolution. So first things first, got to download that template. When I download the template, it automatically downloads here. So I can click show in finder, right click and click open with preview. You don't need to do this for other programs, but for Canva specifically, they only like PNG and JPEG files. This file is a PDF, if you can see right here. So the first thing we need to do is convert it to a JPEG or PNG image. I like PNG because it does come out a little higher quality. So go to file, export. So I'm going to rename this to lunchbox PNG. Save it where you want it to go and make sure the format is at a PNG. And resolution, we already saw that it wanted it to be 300 pixels per inch. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to that in the template as well. So go ahead, click save. And then I'm going to head on over to Canva. It's time. Okay, so here in Canva, I need to click create a design. I will just do custom size and then these are the dimensions, 3045 by 2370. I got that from this page, 3045 by 2370 pixels. You can pick the unit here, but we do like pixels. So go ahead and create a new design. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and upload that lunchbox template. Here it is right here. I can click this and then just go ahead and drag it over. And then what I like to do here is set this image as the background of the artwork. So that way it doesn't accidentally move when I'm trying to design over it. So I'll just click set image as background. Now it completely fills the entire space and it's not just gonna move around if I start moving my cursor or whatever. Another thing you can do here is you can adjust the transparency. If you want it to be a little bit less obvious, but you still want to see it, then you can move this up or down. So the good thing about editing with a template is that you can see here the product line. This is what the lunchbox looks like. This orange line surrounds a safe area, so all of your important elements need to be located within the safe area. And this blue line is the full bleed line. So whatever backgrounds you want to upload need to reach all the way to this full bleed line to avoid any sort of weird white borders or anything like that. Okay, so today I'm going to be making a lunchbox for my nephew. He really loves tigers. He goes to the zoo all the time. So I'm going to use this tiger. So cute. And with Canva, you can pick from a lot of different free elements. So over here, I just went to the element tab and you can look at lots of different graphics, photos. If you want to upgrade to Pro, you can get some more advanced graphics like this tiger, for example, is a Pro and it'll come up like with a watermark if you haven't paid for that feature. But this program still works really amazing even if you haven't paid. So I uploaded my tiger. I want to make sure he is located within the safe area because I want him entirely in this. Um, with Canva, you can do position, you can align him however you want. I can also change the colors. So I'm not really crazy about this green color. I actually just want his chest to be white. Okay, next up, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to put Rowan's lunchbox. I don't want anyone to accidentally take his lunchbox. So if it says his name printed on there, no one's taking it. And then I really love this font called Chewy. Looks so cute. So there's what I want my lunchbox to look like overall. If I want to move it around, I can, you know, select it. I can also, you know, use the positioning tools that we talked about earlier, but this looks really good. I want to change the background of this lunchbox. I know already that the words and the image are within the safe area, and that's all I really needed that template for. So just in case, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy. Um, I can click this button to duplicate the page. And this one, I'm going to delete that image from the background. So I select here. You see how this blue line is selecting 
that image back there and I'm just going to click delete. So now it's plain white. I can still see up here. Yep, it's in the right place. I'm not going to change it, but I can also change the background. So for this, I kind of want it to be a bit understated. I really like this gray color. And since this lunchbox is a full bleed item, the whole background will be gray. Now, obviously, I don't want to export Rowan's lunchbox with the template, so I can just delete this layer now that I know everything's good and I don't want to change anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and click share. And then there is something to note that's special here about exporting your designs in Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. But instead of doing a PNG like our website recommends, you need to do the PDF print option. The reason for this is in Canva, it doesn't let you select the custom resolution. So these two options, JPEG and PNG, are going to automatically export at 96 DPI. You need your file to be 300 DPI, which is way higher. And the only option that actually does that is the PDF print option. So go ahead and click that. And then we will have to convert it back to a JPEG or PNG later. So this file automatically opened with the system viewer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click file, export, and then export it as a PNG at 300 pixels per inch. And then go ahead and click save. Now I need to go back into the Print and Mint website and I'll just click design. So here's my template. We just saw that template in the other app. Background color, I already put it on my full bleed design, so I don't really need to worry about that. But I'll go my files, upload, and then I've got this, Roman's lunchbox. Go ahead and upload it. I can click choose and there it is. There's this cute little lunchbox and everything is exactly how we thought it would be. So now I'm done. I did everything in Canva, so I don't need to mess around with this design editor at all. And then I'll just click next. There it is. It looks so perfect. Rowan is going to love that. And then I'll just go ahead and click save. Here I can adjust the product name or the product description if I want, but I'm just going to click save and open. If I did want to place a manual order right now, I could add that to my cart, but for now, I'll just do save and open, and there it is. All right, thanks for designing with us on Canva. Canva, once again, is an app that you can use for free on the internet. Just make an account, and it has tons of different elements and templates that you can work off of. It does have some limitations as opposed to Photoshop or Illustrator, but if you're just getting started, Canva is a great way to grow your business. All right, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for more Printed Mint content.